Hi everybody and welcome to Travelling with Russell and welcome to a new video and welcome to Moscow. Now today I thought I'd take you for a walk around my local shopping centre. Today is actually International Women's Day so depending on when you're watching this you're either watching on the same day as the holiday or a few days or a few weeks later and I just thought I'd show you what it's like here in Moscow at a very typical shopping center. Now I'm gonna say my local shopping center because this is the closest shopping center to where I live. It's actually about 20 minutes away by bus and it's actually connected by the metro, which where you'll see a lot of people going in here to catch the metro into Moscow. This is the red line in the southwest of Moscow. It's called Salarevo metro station. And then the shopping center is called Salaris. And it's actually not that big of a shopping center if you compare it to others in Moscow. The interesting fun fact about it is it's bigger than any shopping center in Australia. Now that's just staggering to think. And this in Moscow is probably not even in the top 20 biggest shopping centers. Lots of people coming in today. So a lot of people will come from the public buses uh, right behind me and then this is the main entrance right here. I haven't even walked in the shopping center yet and there is some temporary flower sellers right here with some very beautiful tulips and this is only here for a few hours today and a lot of people will buy flowers you know literally today give it to their better half to celebrate the holiday. Let's head on inside and see what it's like. I just really want to see what the mood is like today and how busy it might be and how many people are here on International Women's Day in Russia. Now this is a shopping center I come to pretty much every day or every second day here in Moscow. This is the main entrance right here. Everybody getting some from money from the machines and then we're going to head up the escalators right here and check it out. There's another stand with flowers and they've got more tulips and in here you can buy them individually and then they'll actually put them together in a bouquet for you and you can see all the men trying to make decisions. So I showed you the entrance to the metro where a lot of people will catch the bus to this uh, station and then get the metro into Moscow and then this is where everybody exits from the metro and you can see the crowds of people coming to this shopping center to come shopping today and then come on up to this street level and then head on up one more flight to go inside and we can see again more flowers now yeah, there's only the ladies here at this one but have a look how beautiful all these tulips are. Lots of different colors. So they actually sell these ones individually, which is very normal in Russia. So you can either choose one color or you can get a series of colors and make a bouquet out of them. Let me try and get in line here to get up the escalator to the upper level. Now, this is Pretty much the only main shopping center that I come to a lot because it's close to where I live in the, in the region of Moscow where I live. So it's just interesting to compare today to other days and how busy it is because of a very big holiday in Russia. And again, plenty of people about. Now I want to point out a couple of things where we'll see it being a lot busier than some other places. So the main idea with this video is to show you what the mood is like in Moscow today and at this shopping center, which is my local shopping center. I know I'm saying it a few times, but this is the one that I come to literally daily, so I know it very well. I could probably walk around blindfolded. And I just want to show you what it feels like here in 2024 at a Russian typical shopping center. This is a store called Golden Apple. And this is a very popular perfume and cosmetics store that's all over Russia. 
in every shopping center. It's essentially a supermarket sized perfume shop with cosmetics and skincare. And being that it's International Women's Day, it's not necessarily the men buying for the ladies. A lot of ladies buy for each other and for friends, for family, maybe a daughter to a mother. And I just want to show you how busy a Russian perfume shop can be on a day like today. Now, there is a lot of brands in here. There's a lot of different counters and it's a very interesting place that's not very well documented on YouTube and a lot of people always comment in a lot of my videos there isn't people shopping in the stores they don't have bags now this is the main register area here and there is maybe 15 or 20 registers and people are literally queuing to pay for something and not just one or two people, there is hundreds of people. I really hope by me walking only into this store, it just proves that retail is alive and well in Russia and people spending money and buying things. Now this is not a supermarket with food and you know, we're not lining up for bread in Russia. People are here to buy cosmetics, perfume, everything. And it's just, so interesting. I come to this shopping center a lot. I know this store very well. I try and avoid it because it's just lines upon lines. And I just think it's fascinating to show everybody how deep the registers and lines go. And I've not even seen a supermarket in the shopping center yet. And this is very unique. Now, just in case you're wondering, these are not paid actors. They're not body doubles from Mozfilm that are here just to make my video look pretty. These are all genuine shoppers. So you're gonna see quite a mixture of people in this store shopping. So primarily today, a lot of people are here because of International Women's Day. And this is a big factor why this store is a little bit busier. But you can come almost every day of the week to this store and there's ladies on top of ladies trying to buy something. And really mostly because it's probably the best perfume and cosmetic store in all of Moscow in terms of the selection and the assortment. And it's just really, really fascinating to see <laughs> the amount of people in here. Now, I could probably do the entire video only in this store, but I think it's only appropriate that I walk around to a little bit more of the shopping center and, you know, show that there is other people in here shopping. I made it out alive from Golden Apple, thankfully. I actually bumped into a channel subscriber there as well, which was super nice. He noticed me as I walked through. And let's walk on a little bit further and see what the mood is like. Now, for me, this is exactly the walk that I do when I go through to Globus Hypermarket, which we'll see a little bit later in the video. And maybe there's a few more people shopping than normal, but generally this place is always busy, primarily because it's connected by the Metro literally under the shopping center. There is a major bus station here as well, which has a lot of the regional buses that arrive and depart from this shopping center. And there is some housing nearby, but most people would come by public transport or by car. So one of the ladies when I was back in the perfume shop uh, said to me that and obviously a lot of people are there shopping today because of International Women's Day which I know very well is an important holiday here in Russia and in other countries around the world. In Australia, we don't celebrate or honor this holiday. Pretty much in Australia, we only have Valentine's Day and then Mother's Day, which essentially in Russia, it's kind of combined for all ladies into International Women's Day. So let me know in the comments where you're from 
And do you celebrate this holiday in the place where you live? This is the travelators going down to the underground parking. There's two levels of underground parking here for at least a few thousand cars. So anybody going down these travelators, they're gonna be driving home. And then we can keep walking along a little bit more. And the other popular thing today is jewelry. And I'm curious if there's more shoppers today than other days. Now there is quite a lot of jewelry shops in this shopping center. This is just one of them. And there's definitely plenty of interest in jewelry as well as buying flowers and chocolates. And on the opposite side from the jewelry shop we were just at, there's another one right here. About six months ago, this exact location was a phone shop and it closed down and a jewelry shop opened. And have a look at all the shoppers coming for jewelry today. And this place is very busy. Maybe there's a certain brand or a certain type of jewelry that they sell because there is a lot of people definitely shopping here. I like to call this uh, corridor here Underwear Alley because of the number of uh, lingerie shops that they've got. So there's one right in front of me here and then there's one just off on the right hand side right there and then on the opposite side They've got one right here, and then there's a second one, or another one, just behind the sign right there. I do hope walking around shopping centers like this gives you a good idea of the climate here in Moscow and just how it feels. So many people comment on a lot of shopping center videos that, you know, shopping centers where they live are closing and there are so many shops not open. And in Russia, I feel like they're alive and well. Now I go to a lot of them to make videos, so I get to see a lot of them, not just here in Moscow, in other cities and other regions. And it's definitely a place that people come to, and it's a destination, not just shopping for traditional things like clothes and shoes. I was really hoping this middle island of the shopping center was gonna have some event today for International Women's Day and it seems like they haven't set anything up. This is all exactly how it normally is. Now, if you watch older videos on the channel, I made them a year ago, two years ago and showed all of this empty. All the stores were closed. The one in front there would have been Zara. It's now reopened. And then on this other side was the uh, Pull and Bear and Stradivarius and they're all reopened under other brand names now. So I was hoping to see a little bit more excitement in this middle part, but it seems not. The coffee shop is still here though. One of the things that's very predominant in a lot of the shopping centers in Russia is these big glass roofs that cover the whole shopping center. And it's pretty hard to get a bit of a perspective of how big this is just from watching it on a video like this and just you know how spacious the shopping center feels even when I compare this to others in Moscow this isn't that big. Well, Ostertan is still well and truly open in Russia. The only difference is the Russian Cyrillic name on the outside of the store but then inside everything is in the traditional spelling of the name of the store now in Australia, this store would be much busier on a Valentine's Day or a Mother's Day. Here in Russia, it's not as popular a brand as what you saw Golden Apple was earlier in the video. So I will take you for a walk in Globus towards the end of the video. I thought I'd leave that till the last part. I know a lot of people like supermarket walk-arounds. Now I'm going to try to combine this video really to show you my typical shopping center here in Moscow and just show you the atmosphere and everybody shopping and this guy with a lot of choco pies I wonder where he's going with so many of them <laughs> lots of people around today 
Globus actually has a, a takeaway cafe right here. And they've also got a little deli where you can get some meats and hams and sausages, which are the same as what they sell in the store. And they're very popular. And then the cafeteria here, this is actually one of two different ones that they've got. And quite often, if I come, I'll actually have something to eat here. And they've got the kitchens that make everything right here in the store. This is actually one of the reasons I like coming here is for the pizza. They've got this deep pan style pizza and it's very delicious. And the other thing is all of the different pastries. Remember, this is a supermarket cafeteria. This is not even the food court of the shopping center. This is the supermarket food. This store might be interesting for a few people. This actually opened, I think about six or eight months ago. It's actually a candy store or a sweet store. And it focuses on primarily on imported items and not things that are domestically produced. And this fridge might be interesting to see all of the imported drinks. They've got up here different American uh, root beers and there's Dr. Pepper. There's different Coca-Colas. And from England, they've got I Am Brew right here. This is actually from Scotland, actually. Very famous uh, drink from the United Kingdom. And there's definitely a fascination with all of these imported food items. Now it's not purely because brands left Russia. Almost everything they've got here were things that were imported to Russia for many, many years. A lot of things from Japan and China, America. You'll see Haribo here is predominantly made in Europe. So they've got all the different types of Haribo and then different candies and sweets, Hershey chocolates. So if you're wanting some foreign chocolate or candy brand, this is where you'd come to. Even if you want Kellogg's cereal and Kit Kat cereal, there is all types. One thing I'll just say about that candy store is the prices aren't cheap. They are all imported from different countries around the world. And a lot of the price of the items are factoring in logistics and transport cost. But if you really want something very unique that isn't in the normal supermarkets in Russia, you'd go there and pay sometimes double or triple the price for something. As I get towards the back of the shopping center, the mood changes quite a fair bit. A lot of the stores at the back here are home stores. So things like furniture and appliances and things for your house. And there's some very, very nice stores in here. If you want some new item or a gift or something for your kitchen, there is a lot of choices of stores. You know, I probably take it for granted how big this shopping center is with it being my local one but it's got a lot to offer. You can just see off in the distance out the windows of the far side of the shopping center, very big housing uh, development. This has been built in the last five or six years. This will be the closest housing immediately to the shopping center, but it's about a 20 minute walk. Most people take a bus over there. And then the outdoor part of the car park right here. Most people like to park underground here just because it's easier to get in. And this is another reason a lot of kids like to come to shopping centers. They're not bothered about going shopping to buy things. They want to come to these activity centers where they can play and run around and play with lots of toys they don't have at home. And then the parents basically can let the kids roam around for an hour, sit and have a coffee and chill out. These play centers are all supervised as well. So you can actually leave the kids there and come back for them and then Upstairs here is the very big food court, which isn't necessarily big in terms of the amount of food places, but the seating is very big and there's a lot of place to sit and have something to eat. There's probably still around about 40 places to choose from to have something to eat. And today it's definitely a little fuller than usual. And have a look at the line to get in to this 
seafood restaurant or fish restaurant as I like to call it and there's probably 40 or more people lining up to get in now it's actually a very nice restaurant they just don't have enough tables to sit in there and find somewhere to sit so basically you line up until there's a table free and then you're going to have all sorts of seafood delights and there's plenty to choose from as well and I don't think we're going to be having this for lunch but maybe one of the other fish might be something very tasty this upstairs part of the shopping center I like the most because of this roof right here and how bright it is and how nice it is to walk around it's not dark and stuffy and gloomy like some shopping centers are in other countries they make them bright and airy they want they want you to come here they want you to come to all the different types of businesses not just buy a piece of clothing and go home now if you are a follower of my channel and perhaps there's a certain place I need to go and make a video and show in more detail let me know I've been asked quite a few times to come to Leonardo which is this store right here and this is a supermarket size craft store and it's a phenomenal shop if you're into crafting or something that resembles making something painting something I'm not sure this is the place to come to they also have a lot of party supplies in here as well and it's just a phenomenal store if you want me to make a more detailed walk around of this shop let me know in the comments and I could make something a little bit longer now I'm just briefly walking in and out to just give you an idea of what Leonardo looks like if you're wondering why it's called Leonardo I think because of the fact they sell a lot of painting supplies and I think Leonardo da Vinci I think that's where the name and the reference comes from they've got everything in there if you're into any kind of art and crafts that is the shop to come to in Russia and they have them in all shopping centers they're not a one-off place I thought just to get to the other side of the shopping center I'd walk back through the food court and I'm gonna see if my friend is here working and maybe he'll recognize me and give me a wave here at the burger place and that's Franklin Burger and that young guy there is one of my subscribers as well so maybe he'll see himself later in the video my wife will be very happy I just thought I'd come and see if they've got her favorite donuts and it looks like they're out now this is now called crunchy dream and this was Krispy Kreme and it really still is there's no change whatsoever apart from the sign on the front everything is exactly how it was I think again it's very hard to get a grasp of how big this shopping center is and how large the seating area is for this shopping center there is pretty much every table taken I'm not a big fan of coming here when it's busy like this I'd much rather come midweek when it's a little bit quieter and you can sit in peace a little bit but there's definitely a lot of people around today and lots of people coming out not just because of International Women's Day they just coming to the shopping center for a afternoon out you know it's still quite cold outside so shopping centers are important because they're fully heated you can even take your jacket off check your coat at the entrance and then just relax for a few hours this is my wife and I's favorite sushi place and we like to come to when we come to this shopping center and even today they're lining up to get inside I've never seen a line ever at this place lots of people have asked me in Russia do we have a store like Marshalls or Ross in America and Familia is the closest thing that I can compare it with where they've got this general merchandise on the left here which is all sorts of mishmash of things and then over here on the right 
is all the clothing by sizes and then by uh, men or ladies clothes so you shop by size and then you just flick through and hopefully you can find something amongst all of the racks and then they'll change things seasonally and then depending on what they're selling through you can see obviously coats for winter and this is the closest thing in Russia to Ross and Marshalls if you're from America I get asked this a lot does this kind of store exist in Russia it definitely does one thing that I tend to notice with this camera is it's got a wide angle lens and it does make things seem a lot bigger than what they are. Now these shopping centers are huge and there's no question about that how big they are. This is another very popular place in this shopping center and it's actually a supervised kids play center. It's called Jockey Jora. The sign's all the way at the top right there. And it's actually got a restaurant in there as well and cafe. And then it's fully supervised. You can leave the kids uh, to play or you can go in there with them, sit to the, in the restaurant. And there's this multi-level play center. It's a bit hard to see up the back or right up the top here, but this place is phenomenal. And every kid's dream to come here on a day like today. They actually have a few of them in this shopping center. This is another one. It's actually got a very big sand pit for children and it's all enclosed. Again, the parents can sit outside or they can leave the kids here uh, fully supervised by the staff and the kids can have as much fun as they like. I do hope you're enjoying this video walking around. Now, I came here, of course, to make this video. I'm also going to grab a few things from the supermarket. I think I might grab something for lunch as well. My wife's not home today, so I'm on my own having to fend for myself. So I'm gonna, you know, finish up the video with you guys then go about my day in the shopping center, being that it's my local store. You know, I need to come and do things here as well. This whole opposite side of the shopping center is dominated by kids' stores. So what they've done with this shopping center, they've made it into zones. So there's that lingerie zone from the beginning. There's a men's area, a ladies area. And this upstairs area has all the different kids shops. And this whole way down to the far end is just different children's branded stores along with the kids play centers we saw earlier. So there's a lot of reason why kids want to come to the shopping center. But I think those play centers are the big draw card. If there's ever something that would resemble the money shot here at Solara Shopping Center, I think just looking down from this middle center of the shops is the spot right here. There's a few more coffee shops on the bottom level down there. And then that very large roof. And it's just hard to comprehend being that I'm from Australia, that this is larger than any shopping center in our entire country. And then in Moscow and then in Russia, it's almost not that big. One thing I will mention with this shopping center, and it's very noticeable in all the bigger shopping centers you go to in Moscow now, is there isn't empty spaces. All of the stores that left Russia, as the saying goes, have now been filled by other brands or rebranded companies that are still here. So when you look around, you know, there isn't literally an empty space anywhere in this shopping center. Just like in Ikea, where they've got the cheap hot dogs, uh, uh, Globus Hypermarket has the cheap ice creams. And they're very well known for their 30 ruble ice cream. Then have a look at the line. Everybody wanting ice cream and I think coffee as well. <laughs> it's very nice ice cream, I must admit. I'm not always a big fan of lining up though for my 30 ruble ice cream. Let's go on inside Globus now and have a walk around and see what it feels like in here. What I will do for this part of the video is I'm just gonna walk from one end to the other, literally and hopefully you can get an idea of how busy it is and how many people are in here. 
Now this whole right hand side is mostly all home goods and items for your house, garden, your car, and then on the left there's also some items as well. Pretty much everything set up here at the front is all for International Women's Day. What they do is they change this about once a month, depending on what seasonal holiday is happening. And then they'll rotate it to the next event, probably tomorrow, <laughs> literally. And have a look at everybody here, looking for tulips also. And they've also got some very nice flowers here. And all the ladies trying to find the perfect bunch. And even the gentleman, he's got, he's got three wives. He's buying three lots of flowers. That must be tough having to buy for three wives. Or maybe his one girlfriend there wants three bunches. I think I might need to do a completely separate video talking about the garden centers and the setups these stores have now that spring has arrived because they've got huge areas dedicated to it. Also, you can get the plants here, which will be a good few months away from flowering. And then they've also got an entire aisle dedicated to seeds. So a lot of people will be preparing for dacha season in Russia. It's a very popular thing to do, to start your seeding of your plants now. Do them on the windowsill at home and be ready. And we can see here all the setup here for International Women's Day. All the different candies and sweets, also teas, coffees, very popular. Plenty of people about. And walk on through from one end to the other. Try and do it uninterrupted if I can. A very big alcohol section. And then I think what they've done over here is they put a lot of the champagnes and wines also. Not as busy as I thought it would be in here. It's definitely busier in the shopping centre generally than it is walking into the supermarket. This place obviously is not going anywhere so people can come and shop any day of the week in this supermarket. And they've got the beer section off in the distance. And then we can walk all the way down to the far end. This is where I thought a lot of people would be, in the cake section. And definitely there is plenty of people getting a cake or some sort of treat to give to their other half or to a family member. Now you always know when it's busy here, when they've got their spare racks of cakes out on the side and they're literally filling them as quick as they can and everybody trying to decide which is their favorite cake that they want. This bakery section always has a lot of people in it. In the back here they've got the bakery just off behind the counters where they're literally making bread around the clock. More people lining up here for some different cakes. And then they've actually got a little pop-up seating area here where you can actually buy a cake and sit and eat it right in the store. And this is the very famous bread section in Globus. And then they're literally making it around the clock. As quick as it can come out of the ovens, they do everything in store literally from the dough to the final product. And then this is the display of all the made in-store breads. And look at that, they've even got a separate rack of breads today, especially because they know how busy it is for International Women's Day. And never ending breads. Now there was that scene in Tucker Carlson's video. He was actually in Ashan, which is the competition to this store and he was looking at the bread. It's no different in here how popular it is and how cheap it is as well. Let me walk down this middle aisle. It's a little bit easier to navigate around. A few people in the candy aisle. That's where all the chocolates are. And then the pay by weight sweets here on the left. And then we come on up to the dairy section and then the deli on the right hand side 
and all of the cheeses and hams and meats. Lots of choices. So I hope this is interesting. Now I've probably made the video maybe a little bit too long, but these are normally the style of videos that I like to do just to show you what it's really like in the stores. I am walking a little bit faster. I was wanting to do this in one take if I can and get through from one end to the other. Now, somebody did mention in another video that I walked in front of a lady that was pregnant. Now, I look back at the footage of that video and because of the way I hold my camera, people can go really close to me and be, really look like they're next to me literally and they're miles away. This gentleman's got the flowers. He's all set for Woman's Day. Or well, somebody in his life he's gonna take that home to later on. Very nice. Here's the little healthy section of the shopping center or the supermarket. There's actually a couple of aisles of it. And we'll come over here to the madhouse of Globus, which is where all of the fruit and vegetables are all sold from and just the amount of people in here now I don't really want to talk about this over and over and the baskets and trolleys because it's been talked about many times in my videos that people use predominantly these smaller hand trucks because they're just easier and more convenient and where you're on public transport and then you're going to find where people have got these trolleys. More than likely they drove here. And they're going to get in their car on their way home. <laughs> it's not so lucky for me. I've got to catch the metro or the bus from here to go somewhere. So I generally just buy a few small items that are easy to carry. Lots of stuff uh, today. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this is probably one of their busier days of the year, perhaps, alongside New Year back in January. I think you can definitely see from the video the amount of people that are here shopping and the mood, I think, generally, too. I think you can feel that in the video. So if you do watch some of the older videos, you might remember I did a video right on the Russian New Year and how busy this area was. And again, today it's no exception. So a lot of people will be just doing general shopping here today. And there'll be people who will be buying things for a nice meal tonight or maybe tomorrow and buying, you know, something to have a nice dinner this with this evening. I'm here earlier in the day. So a lot of people still have plenty of chance to get home and celebrate. How nice is this? They've set up a little area here with suggestions for International Women's Day. I must admit Globus is very smart in their advertising and how they set up the store, especially for the different holidays and how they change these front promotional areas, especially for Women's Day or for New Year or for some sort of a, another holiday later on this year. And they're very good at doing this persuasive shopping as you walk in and, you know, they know that you're going to come in wanting specific things and they put them right here at the front. Get a good idea of how big this fruit and veg section is in Globus now as I scan around. I'm going to see if I can find the exit. I made it out of Globus alive, thankfully. It was a little bit busier than normal. I mean, probably looks busier, especially in that fruit and vegetable section. And now I think I'll slowly head on out. Now this store, or this shopping center, is open 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. seven days a week. So you don't necessarily need a certain time to be busier than others. All the gentlemen waiting for their ladies to come from the bathroom. And you can just see the amount of people coming on inside still. And then everybody that's following me out are all going to the metro. 
or to a bus to go home. And I think the gold apple is still very hectic over there. And perhaps where you're watching from in the world is your local shopping center. As busy as this right now, here to go to your local store or local shopping center. Does it have this amount of people coming inside and coming shopping or coming to do something here? As I walk out of Solara Shopping Center now and I'm walking to my bus stop, which is just across the street, I really hope you've enjoyed this video. It was basically uh, planned that I was going to do a walk around of the shopping center and see what the mood and the feeling was like here on International Women's Day in Russia. Obviously I'm here in Moscow and it's very interesting to see just the dynamic of everybody shopping and walking around and how many people are in that perfume shop. Now that's one of my wife's favorite shops and pretty much if I come here with her together I've lost her for a good hour or more so <laughs> I don't generally go in that store at all and today I had to do it for the video right so let me know what you think of a Russian typical shopping center. Now these larger shopping centers are all throughout Russia, particularly in the bigger cities. You know, it doesn't matter in Moscow or somewhere further east uh, of Moscow. There's big shopping centers everywhere. I just thought it'd be interesting for you to come and see my local shopping center. This is the one that I come to the most. I was actually living here before this place was even constructed. My bus is right there. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you want to post a comment, do that as well. If you're not a subscriber to the channel, you've made it to the end. Perhaps you want to subscribe and wait for more videos on the channel. If you want to join me on Telegram, I have a channel. It's got more than 2,000 people in there now, so it's really interesting to follow along with my day-to-day -day life here in Russia. And then if you want to see an old video, click that link, this link, and the next video will come up for you to watch, perhaps something older on the channel you've not seen before. Okay, everybody, I'm off on another adventure. Bye.